Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Operator TMEL Expert. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video, what we're going to see is how we can use the block trend on the software. So let's go to the software. So I'm going to start a new project. Just wait for it. Too many things going around. So what I'm going to do is just to show you how it works this element called block trend which is du, 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 this one okay that is different to the one called trend graph okay so in order to do, uh, use this one what we need is information in an array okay because it's just show information that you have in some specific uh, in a in a specific array. So what we can do is to create, for example, uh, a variable. Okay, and I'm going to use, for example, uh, no, word. Okay, so just leave it the word, and then we can see something like um, production. Just to know how efficient was the production. I know it can be OE, but I'm just going to say, okay, production from zero to 100. Um, you can, you, you should use external or internal and you just move the data here. But what we need is to use array. And then the number of elements will be whatever you want, but I'm going to use uh, nine. Now let's use 10. So I have an array from 0 to 9. Okay, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. Okay, good. And I have that will be the information that I'm going to have from the PLC or just something that we come up with. So now on the screen, what we need is to link that array. So channel 1, block production the variable must be that one that we have already created so here select prod the array if we go functions here what we need to do is to start element zero number of data to display i'm going to use uh, six Start element zero, two, 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 display mode full. The range is from zero to 100, fine. Uh, number of points, I uh, will use 10. I will use this part, I will give it uh, details. This is the grinds. Display axis, scale position, level channel there. So we can put this and see what happened. And uh, the scale, you can change this bar. Display axis. We can leave that open. Okay, so this is point that it doesn't matter. It's not related to the time. Okay, it's just the location of the data that you have. Okay, so then we should be able to read some data, which is fine. Now, let's put over here the numeric display with the information that we have. So it's going to be three details. Alarms, okay. Foreign value, variables, production, zero. Okay, so I'm going to replicate this. Uh, pa -pa -pa -pam, copy. So the direction is going to be counting uh, nine. Uh, yes, so I need to add one to that one. 
you can see how it's going to be next. So I have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now what we need, there are a few functions that we need to use with this. I'm going to create three buttons. Now you will see why. So on the script, script part, we have something called, well, let's use this click and touch. And then what we need is the do, 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 trend, this function. So we need to select the trend that we have, then the channel, going to select all channels. You can have plenty of things. And here we have draw, clear, and clear and draw. So the first one is going to be draw. And then what we're going to do is to name this. It's important for you to name all the different options that we have. Draw, clear, and this one. All shape text release. So it's going to be draw, control C, control B, clear, clear, all. <laughs> so it is to put the information over here, over here in a different style so script here you can click over here screen object graphic object dot switch draw when it's touch then do something which is fine copy paste draw clear this one's going to be clear uh, the other one all so this is how you can configure this part, which is fine. So now we just need to put data here and show the information. Um, there's a few things that I probably forgot. So we have line, square and bar, then we can see the difference. Uh, okay, so let's simulate this and see how it works. You can see draw okay so it's one two three four five six six elements so i'm going to use 10 20 40 40 70 50 and 10 draw you can see how we draw everything so if i even if i put this information here draw it just draw only one two three four five six six elements that we have already configured here display the data number of points 10 which is are all this so if i reduce this let's see if this change St display and let's add a mark so we know something's going to be there simulate yes so i'm going to use 10 30 50 draw you can see here it expand because it's the this one that we have here number of data points is for the display area that we're going to have so here I have one, two, three, four, five points. So if I select this 50 and 90, it will start over here, 50 and 90, the top. Okay. So if you want to show a different thing, we can have a clear and start again. Okay. Draw. 
draw, draw, draw. You can see how much bigger it is. Okay, draw or clear, and then draw again. So there are plenty of things to, to do. So let's see bars, how it looks like with the bars. So the important thing here is to have an array with all the variables and know how to configure it. That's it. So you're going to use 30, 15, 90, draw. OK. And square. How it looks like I believe we have also a possibility to to, uh, to fill this solid in case we need it different uh, different color so I'm going to use this one okay and use for example now the bars I believe this example is on the help or it shows over there that so we use 10, 30, 90, 50, 89, 20, draw. Okay, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The 6 is outside the range that I have. Okay, so this is something good that you can show to change. So, yeah, you can access to all this information. It's very easy. The important thing is to know which is the variable that you need to use over here. OK, you can use like this and then point from the PLC to here to show the data. OK, so this is how we can use the block trend on EcoStructure Repertoire Timing Expert. Thank you so much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.